National news source in Yuma and throughout the Imperial Valley. You're watching KSWT's Late Edition. A big dignitary visits the desert southwest. Arizona Senator John Kyle is in Yuma. Senator Kyle met with Border Patrol before touring the wetlands project. Good evening, I'm Nick Montez. And I'm Gabby Gonzalez. Senator Kyle held a public address and answered questions from city and county officials, and he even came by and met with us. KSWT News 13's Micaela Arroyo has more tonight. Micaela. Gabby, Nick, a pretty busy day for Senator John Kyle here in Yuma. Certainly a big part of it was spent at the open forum where he answered questions from city and county officials as well as the general public. As soon as he stepped in Yuma, Senator John Kyle was greeted by local 4-H members. He met with Border Patrol and toured the area by helicopter. Later, Senator Kyle had a televised public address. He answered questions from city and county officials. What do you see as the future of this desalting plant? Each got their chance to ask. It takes more identification for a U.S. citizen than it takes for a resident alien to come through the border now. Is the federal government interested in keeping uh, the technology here that the National Guard uh, brings with them? There's been some good technology uh, that's been uh, uh, employed outside of the National Guard as well. The and general very, public very was encouraged to write down their the questions that were later read by city spokesman Dave Nash. When can we see domestic oil? The main issue on today's open forum with U.S. Senator John Kyle was immigration, with education as a second most asked about matter. To us, it's a problem that we deal with every day, whether it's regulations crossing the border or whether it's a lack of uh, a good immigration reform bill whether it's uh, difficulties, you know, with uh, crossing the border, actually physically crossing the border, or improvements in the border, all those things have an impact on an everyday life for us. And I think it's just, that's probably why the issue is really always up on top of the agenda. Yuma is on the map, and to have someone from Washington, our senator, to come down and recognize us is very important. I wish we would have had a bigger turnout. I know the time might have been a factor, but it was an opportunity that everyone should take a part of. Gabby, Nick, all the questions presented to the senator were answered. He encouraged everyone who had any additional questions or concerns to contact him. Reporting from the Newsplex, I am Micaela Arroyo, KSWT News 13.